Hi guys, welcome to Yoga TX. My name is Crystal, and today I've got a 20 minute morning flow for you. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I sometimes not ready to get up and move super fast in the morning, so this is more of a slow flow, non-standing, that's appealing to you hopefully it will be by the end of class you don't always have to stand to become energized um, yeah but we'll get started in a comfortable seat I do have a blanket it's not necessarily required unless you have sensitive knees or just want to fold up a towel underneath your knees on your mat but so go ahead and start in a comfortable seat and bring your hands somewhere on your body. We'll start with a little bit of breathing either hands to your thighs or you can bring one hand to heart one hand to belly let your eyes close down. Begin to exhale all your air out. Seal your lips at the bottom of the exhale. Take an inhale through the nose. Mouth open, exhale. And we'll do three more like that. Deep breath and fill up. Mouth open, let it go. One more, two more. Inhale through the nose. Mouth open, let it go. And last one like this. Deep breath in, fill up, expand through the rib cage. Mouth open, exhale. Start to tuck your chin towards your chest. Feel the back of the neck grow long. Then on your next inhale, bring ear to shoulder. A little bit of a neck stretch here. Ooh. As you exhale, bring your chin back to the center of your chest. And then we'll take it the other way. Inhale, ear to shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. And a few more of these at your own pace. Your inhales, you get into the neck stretch. Your exhales lengthen the back of the neck long. Feel free to close your eyes here. If it feels better to linger in the neck stretch on one side or in more of the central place, feel free to stay there. With most of, actually I think with all of my yoga classes, I like to say that I just make suggestions. If you just need to sit on your mat or lay in Shavasana, and just have some sort of person guiding you. At some point you might say, oh, maybe I'll try that. But for now, I just need to breathe and stay in this pose. Feel free to do that. If you're still in your neck stretches, go ahead and even it out. We'll meet back in a central position, so chin level with the floor. Then inhale, circle, sweep your arms up overhead, bring your palms to touch. Exhale, thumbs to your heart space. And inhale, sweep the arms up, palms meet. Exhale, hands to heart. One more like this, inhale, reach up. Exhale, thumbs to heart. Then from here, we're going to find double pigeon. So stack your right shin on top of the left. So I'm attempting to mirror you. Uh, right knee over the left ankle. And pause here. If this is a lot because it's early, you can always bring your right shin in front of the left shin. I like options. Then bring your hands behind you. Puff up the heart. Flex through both sets of toes so this protects the knees. And feel free to stay here with the heart open. Or if you want a little more sensation in the hips, you can start to crawl the hands forward any amount. Maybe think about keeping the spine level or upright, heart leaning forward. And if you want even more, you can start to melt the heart a little bit towards the floor. Breathe wherever you are, getting into the hips here.
And if you lean forward at all, start to crawl yourself back and we'll find boat pose, adventurous. So this might be toes tapping the floor, hands can stay behind you. You can also bring your shins level with the floor, maybe hands reach forward. Or at most fire, you can stretch the legs long and reach up overhead. Wherever you are, think about a string attached to, you, to your heart and it's pulling you up towards the ceiling. Breathe here, pull navel to spine. A little bit of fire in the belly. And on your next exhale, we're gonna come back to double pigeon opposite side. So bring your left shin on top of the right. And maybe acknowledge that it might feel a bit different on this side. This knee might be way up here. It might be a little bit lower. We'll start with the hands back behind us. Puff up the heart, maybe look up. And then feel free to stay here or you can start to lean forward any amount. Heart can come over the hips, maybe over the shins. Maybe the heart starts to melt towards the earth a little bit. And some people really like to go for it and let their forehead drop down towards the earth. If that's for you, you might stack something under your forehead, maybe a block, you can always stack your fists. I'm not gonna go that far right now. <laughs> And then start to crawl your hands back. We'll find boat pose again here. Lean back, toes touching the earth, shins parallel or extend the legs long. Second one, so you can find the same place you left off or find a little more fire here. Breathe wherever you are. Think about navel to spine and again, lift through the heart. Lift through your collarbones. One more inhale here. As you exhale, we'll lean forward and find hands and knees, tabletop pose. Take some cat cows here. Inhale to let the belly drop, look forward. Exhale, tuck the chin around the spine. And a few rounds on your own. These can be a standard cat cow, or you can find a little more movement and expansiveness here. Maybe as you inhale, you let your hips drop forward. And as you exhale, you might find more of a child's pose shape, sending your hips back towards your heels. Maybe you find a little bit of organic movement, maybe circle the hips, draw circles over the wrist with your shoulders. I invite you to close your eyes here. Tune into your body. What do you need for these next few rounds of breath? And sometimes it is really hard to carve out that time for us during the day. So acknowledge here that you are allowing space and time for yourself. And really allow yourself that. Allow yourself to move like you. All right, take one more round of breath wherever you are and find yourself back in a neutral tabletop. From here, extend your right foot out to the right in line with the left knee. Keep the right hand down, inhale, lift the left fingertips up, so open away from the extended leg. And then as you exhale, thread the needle, so ground the left ear, the back of the left shoulder. And breathe here. You can choose any variation with the right arm. You might just crawl the hand forward and let the elbow rest. If you want it a little more active, you can really walk the fingers forward or take the right hand to the low back for a bind. Option to think about turning your heart up towards the ceiling. So that'll be a little more active if you kind of just want to melt into the pose and think about everything becoming soft. That can be your yoga today as well. And bring your right hand back in front of your face if it's not there already. Inhale, lift the left hand up towards the ceiling. 
exhale, both hands down. Keep your legs the same. We're gonna twist the body in the other direction. So inhale, right hand up. And as you exhale, lower the right ear towards the earth. Let the right elbow come down. Now, the right ear might not come all the way down. You can rest on the left forearm. And again, legs are the same. That right extended leg is strong. And breathe here. Maybe let the right ear be heavy towards the earth. Start to bring your left hand under left shoulder. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale, both hands down. Legs stay the same. Crawl your hands forward like puppy pose and let the forehead come towards the earth. You can either keep the forehead down or find more of a throat chakra opener by looking forward. Maybe your chin touches down to the earth. Again, that's something I'm not gonna go all the way for right in this moment. And then crawl or slide your hands back under the shoulders. Take a round of cat-cow with the legs as they are. And then find your way back to hands and knees. Other side, extend the left leg out to the left in line with the right knee. Ground through all four corners of the left foot. Then reach the right hand up, inhale. Exhale, thread the needle. Let the right ear be heavy. Back of the right shoulder comes down. And find that same arm variation you took on the first side. Maybe it's more active through the left arm or that hand can come to a bind. Left hand back in front of your face. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale, both hands down. Switching the twist in the upper body, left hand up. Exhale, thread the needle. And again, the head doesn't have to come all the way down. If you want a little bit of support and the floor feels far, you can always place a block underneath that ear or just let the elbow come closer to underneath the shoulders. Right hand under right shoulder, inhale, left hand up. Exhale, both hands down, walk your hands forward. Finding that puppy pose in the upper body, melt the heart towards the earth. Either forehead down or chin comes close to the floor. And walk your hands back under your shoulders. Round of cat-cow with the legs as they are. And then both knees down. Tuck your toes, float the hips up, downward facing dog. Feel free to pedal through your heels here. Maybe shake out the head, spread your fingers wide. And we'll move a little more into breath to movement here. Take an inhale in your down dog. Let the heels be heavy towards the earth. As you exhale, come forward to plank and then soften your left knee down. Turn the left toes to the left and we'll find a supported side plank on our left side. So your left hand is your base, the right hand reaches up. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, we'll upright the torso. Legs stay the same. Shoulders come over the hips. Flip your left hand. Inhale, gate pose. Slide your right hand down the side of the right leg any amount. Side bend on the left. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lower the left hand back down. You can find that supported side plank again. Or a little more active, float the right foot for a supported half moon. You might choose to stay here or bend through the top knee, maybe grab for the inside of the foot to open up the shoulder. Kick into the hand if you're taking that variation. Breathe here, maybe look up. Think about turning your heart up towards the ceiling. 
If you have the foot, release it. Inhale, reach your right hand up towards the sky. Fun transition here. Look to the upper right corner of your mat. Take an inhale. Keep the twist in the upper body as you step your right foot forward and swing the left shin or the toes back. So we're in a low lunge twist. Take an inhale, right hand reaches up. Exhale, both hands down. So we're in a wider stance for our low lunge. Pause here. You might choose to drop to the forearms. Maybe forearms come to a block. You can also take a quad stretch here by bending your back knee, reach back for the foot. Ooh, grab the top of the foot, maybe kick into the hand. Again, this is totally optional. If you're like, that's not for me today, you might just take some circles through that right arm. Or just even just circling out the wrist can feel nice. Right, bring both hands back to your mat. Start to straighten your front leg as you send your hips back. We're in a wide stance for our half splits. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, let the heart come closer to the earth. Maybe point and flex your toes or windshield wipe the foot right and left. A few breaths here. Ring, ring. I don't know if they can hear that. <laughs> Maybe. All right, from here, we bend your front knee. Hands are inside the front foot as you tuck your back toes. Find a three-legged down dog. Right foot lifts up. And you can stay right here or spread your toes wide and bring the space between the big toe and the second toe over your left ankle. And then use that to weigh the heel towards the earth. Stay here for a few breaths or maybe find a vinyasa if that's calling to you a heart opener and we'll meet back in downward facing dog. From down dog, take an inhale. I'm gonna switch sides so I can face you. As you exhale, shift forward to plank. Soften your right knee towards the earth. Send the toes to the right, left heel down, and come to that supported side plank on the right side. Your right hand is your base. The left hand reaches up. Take an inhale. Exhale, upright your torso, shoulders over the hips. Flip your right palm. Inhale, find gate pose. Slide the left hand down the leg. Another inhale here. Exhale, right hand comes back to the earth. Stay in the supported side plank or float the left foot. Maybe open up the shoulder, grab onto the inside edge of the left foot so that your shoulder keeps rotating upwards towards the ceiling. Release the foot if you have it. Take an inhale, reach up with the left hand. Look at the upper left corner of your mat and then step the left foot there. Keep the twist in the upper body. Inhale here. Exhale, both hands down inside the left leg. And then take a moment here. You might just stay here. This is lizard lunge, so this might be enough. You can find that quad stretch by bending the back knee and reaching the foot. I like to give lots of options. You can circle through the top wrist or arm. You can even stay in that lizard, maybe finding a little more space in the hips by dropping to your elbows. All right, bring both hands inside the front foot if they're not there already. Start to straighten the front legs and your hips back wide half splits. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, melt the heart. Take any movement or stillness here, a windshield wipe of the toes or point and flex through them. We bend the front knee, walk your hands forward, tuck the back toes, find three-legged dog. 
Spread your left toes wide and then take the space between the big toe and second toe and use that to weigh the right heel down. Staying as long as you want. Maybe coming through a vinyasa of your choice. And then after you take that flow, take a child's pose. So send your hips back towards your heels. Let the forehead rest on the earth. Maybe rock the head right and left a few times. And then feel free to rest here, stay here. You can come onto your back for Shavasana or if you're ready to move on with your day, you can meet me in a comfortable seat. Bring your hands to your heart space, either palms touch in prayer or stack one hand on top of the other. We'll seal this practice with a breath together. To begin, exhale all your air out. Inhale, fill your lungs, breathe into your hands, sip in a little more air at the top. And sigh it out. Thank you so much for joining me today on Yoga TX. Again, my name is Crystal. If you like what we're doing, please like and subscribe to the page. Also, if you want to follow me, you can find me on Instagram. My handle is at it's Crystal. That's it's underscore C R Y S T five A's and an L. Thanks and have a great day.